My name is Ben Justice. I'm a professor in the Graduate School of Education at Rutgers, and primarily I study the history of education in the United States, although recently I've been doing work in other areas as well, um, democratic theory, uh, social studies education, and religion. I'd like to talk now about uh, some work I've done recently with Colin McLeod, my colleague at the University of British Columbia, where we look at the question of what should the place of religion be in American public schools. And we argue that both the political right and the political left have it wrong. So conservatives, or the political right, argue that we should put religious institutions in charge of public education, either through charters or through vouchers, and that that will allow children to have an education that is more in line with what their parents want them to have, or their communities want them to have. Uh, in this instance, what they're doing is they are treating public education as pretty much a, a private good that belongs only to the parents or the community. On the other hand, um, we also disagree with the left who largely would like to see religion removed from public education because they see it as too controversial or too anti-intellectual or anti-science um, or you know, uh, fundamentally hostile perhaps to the idea of diversity. And what we argue is that both positions are problematic and that if you want a healthy democracy in a pluralistic society, you have to have a place for religion in your public schools. And I'll give you two quick examples of why that is. The first has to do with the reality of democracy. And the reality is we live in a religiously pluralistic society. And students in particular need to be able to express themselves in a school where they're trying to learn about who they are and who their friends are and their colleagues are. Otherwise, what they are experiencing in school really won't allow them to bring themselves to the school. Uh, it also won't take advantage of the great diversity of ideas that is present in a public school. On the other hand, uh, there's another reason for putting more religion in schools, the right kind of religion, and that is the way people learn. So what we know from learning science is that people learn best when they can connect what they're learning in school to what they already know. When you have kids who come from religious backgrounds and are in a public school, it's really critical that they take what they've learned in their community, what they learn in their faith practice, and can connect it or at least relate it to what they are learning in the public school curriculum. Now, this work is not always easy, but this work, we argue, is critically important. And so the right is wrong in that religious, ins religious organizations are not necessarily prepared to do this work because they have a right way and a wrong way of thinking about faith, right? On the other hand, what the political left offers us, which is no religion at all, is also a problem for the reasons that I mentioned, because people are diverse and because people need to express themselves in order to learn. Um, so what we imagine is a public school where there is much more learning about religion from highly qualified teachers who try to help students understand the great diversity of religious practice in the United States, uh, give them the opportunity to explore their own ideas about faith, um, and we see that really as, as a way to build a much more democratically minded citizenry. Mm -hmm.